Are you looking for a penetration testing course that will kickstart your penetration testing career? Have you been looking at the eLearn Security Pentest Professional course but want a bit more information? Hi and welcome back to Jason Security. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell for more content about the cybersecurity industry. Now eLearn Security may be a little bit of a lesser known security training company. However, their reputation has been steadily increasing over the past few years. Unlike offensive security, eLearn Security tend to have a much more detailed approach in teaching their course content. They really explain the, the concepts and foundations from the bottom up instead of just the try harder approach like offensive security seem to take. The PTP v5 course is about a mid-tier course and it sits above the pen test student which is a complete introductory course to penetration and behind the pen test extreme course which is much more of a specialized advanced focus course. Another way of looking at it is the PTP course is about 80% of what you learn in the OSCP course, plus more content unrelated to the OSCP. This course aims to teach you penetration testing skills, but from the ground up. So instead of just the attack techniques, it will teach you how to do all the process involved, as well as the underlying foundations and concepts of the technologies that you exploit. So I thought we'd start just by having a look at the topics on the eLearn Security website for this course. Uh, so they have their standard marketing material and whatnot here, but here's the actual syllabus of what you'll be learning. So in the system security section, you'll learn everything from viruses to a bit of an overview of assembly, um, different types of malware, crypto, and specifically the biggest thing from this module is learning how to do buffer overflow attacks. Then the network security module makes up the probably about 80% of this course. And as you can see, there's a lot of different modules within this section. So information gathering, scanning enumeration, uh, men in the middle, vulnerability, assessment and exploitation, post-exploitation, uh, anonymity, anonymity and social engineering. So most of these kind of uh, teach you the penetration testing workflow which basically is your information gathering, your scanning, enumeration, uh, vulnerability, exploitation, and post-exploitation activities. So this will basically teach you most of the things you need to know. There's an, an additional section for PowerShell for pen testers, which goes into how to leverage Windows PowerShell to do some pretty cool exploits. Similarly, we have the Linux exploitation, which really highlights how you can exploit Linux servers through misconfiguration. The web app security section is great for basic web exploits, but it is very limited. But you do go into things like your cross-site scripting, uh, SQL injection, and I think you go into cross-site request forgery as well. Wi-Fi security is a, another section which basically goes through all the different types of Wi-Fi attacks you can do and followed by Ruby for pen testers and Metasploit. Lastly, the Ruby for penetration testers and Metasploit section goes through and teaches you ba the basics of Ruby and then how to build your own Metasploit modules. So here are the materials for this course. There's about 43 different slide decks, each with about averaging around 200 slides. There's 32 actual demonstration videos, which makes up for about 17 hours worth of content and there's 30 virtual private labs for you to do. So these are all for yourself, and if you get stuck, you can reset it. You don't have to worry about somebody else on the same machine. So I'd like to give you a preview of what these slides look like. I'll just show a tiny little bit as it is copyrighted material. So as you can see, you have a different slide deck for each module and each section, and then that's broken down into further topics here. So this is basically what the slides look like. And as you can tell from this quick little demo, it goes into a lot of content. It also has a lot of references for you as well to do any additional reading and the associated videos. Now I'd also like to give you a quick demo of what the videos look like, just so you can make your own judgments. Welcome to this eLearn Security training video lesson. In this lesson, we will see how we can use some NetBIOS commands in order to gather information, 
enumerate network shares, and more. Keep in mind that the information we will gather from these commands are very important as they may lead to future system exploitation. And we'll leave it at there. Just wanted to show you what the video quality looks like, the audio quality, and more so the pr professionalism when it comes to narrating this content. Now, as for labs, this is the catalog here. And to start a lab, it's as simple as clicking the start button, downloading a OVPN file, and then connecting to the lab using OpenVPN. Each lab has its own worksheet for you to work through. And this basically covers a scenario, how to get started, as well as individual tasks to do. It also has solutions as well if you get stuck and you can't really seem to find your way out. And then we have the exam. Now this is a one week exam, so make sure you take plenty of time off work to be able to do it. And you also have to do a lab report after you finish, which they give you another week to do. You don't have to book this exam in advance. As soon as you're ready, you can basically start it just like any other lab, and it will give you a worksheet similar to the labs, but obviously with no solutions and much less guidance. So just who is this course designed for? Well, as we can see, eLearn Security have some basic prerequisites here, but I have, I think, a better way out looking at this. The way I look at this as it is if you have a profession in IT already, so you could be a web developer or a system admin or network admin, if you have some sort of base foundation, then you should be ready to take this course. This is because, say, for example, if you're a web developer, you're already very familiar with databases, web programming languages, and maybe even some web vulnerabilities. Similarly, if you're a system admin, then you'd know things about Active Directory, provisioning user accounts, service accounts, operating systems, and much more. So the way I see it, if you have some sort of base foundation within IT, then you're probably ready to take this course. If you don't, and just starting your IT career, then potentially start Pentest Student instead, or build a solid foundation in something first before starting to take on penetration testing. So what's your background in IT and why do you want to get into penetration testing? Leave your comments below. So on to pricing, and this is probably one of the weaker parts of this course because it does cost a lot. You basically have no choice but to go for the elite plan as the bare bone and the full just don't cut it. So the bare bone basically doesn't even include the exam certificate, so there's no point even looking at it. But the full doesn't include a few sections such as the PowerShell for pen testers and the Ruby plus Metasploit modules. And furthermore, you only have 60 lab hours and three months to complete the course, otherwise your exam voucher will expire. However, if you go for the Elite, then you get 120 lab hours and a unlimited exam voucher. I also recommend if you like to be Farah, then the extra $300 for the unlimited hours is a good option because I think 120 hours is still cutting it quite short. So when you add it all together, it comes up to roughly about 1900 US dollars. So if you're not in the US like me, it comes out to about 2700 Australian dollars which is just really expensive. So you really need to be committed if you're gonna take on this course. So here are some of my pros and cons I found with this course. So there's just such a wealth of information. It teaches great tools, techniques, and the overall process. It teaches not just the exploitation process, but the underlying concepts and foundations as well. It offers great assistance and guidance throughout the labs and the community forum is really good as well for engaging with other students and the course instructors. It's a great stepping stone towards your OSCP as it covers about 80% of the OSCP content anyway. But onto the cons, this is an expensive course so you really need to be committed. The unlimited hours and elite packages is practically almost a must. And while the content is, is really great, it does lack in some areas. Lastly, the reputation for eLearn security just isn't as solid yet as offensive security, so it may limit your job seeking opportunities. So there you have it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, smash that like button. 
really helps me out and lets me know you're enjoying the content. Also feel free to leave any questions if you'd like to know more about the course. And before you go, I have more eLearn Security related content. Click up here for my PTP exam preparation guide and click over here for my course review on the EWPTX course. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.